Yo, people, welcome back to the fix. Quick fix, that is. It's boy and are here with Biggs and Ari. <laughs> I'm assigning. I'm assigning Biggs to Javi. Biggs is Javi. You know, Javi plus two. That was. No, you say you're tired of that, name, so I'm giving <laughs> you. We're sticking with Biggs. Biggs. We're agreed on Biggs. That was better than Biggs. <laughs> <laughs> As we say, a quick fix Fridays. Javi, for the uninitiated, tell them what that is all about, no? Yes, guys, it's time for Quick Fix. And Quick Fix is a run-up of the news that we've missed in the week. So, let's get started. You ready? I am. You ready? <laughs> I said no. <laughs> well, we're ready. We're ready. So, let's get started. Skilly Bang is the first Jamaican act to chart a hit on the Billboard Hot 100 in four years crocodile t3 mix featuring multi-award winning rapper Nicki minaj debuted at 100 on this week's chart the crocodile t3 mix also entered the billboard global 200 at 182 and 43 on digital song sales crocodile t3 mix is one of three songs three new songs featured on Nicki minaj's be me up scotty mixtape which was re-released on may 14th via republic records so congrats to skilly bang right guys congrats of course we did speak on this um in our big up segment on on the, the podcast, podcast in a week mm-hmm. but i just want to take the time out again to say congrats to skilly bang um it entered number 100 uh, uh, on that chart it could yet um climb further as we've seen many singles in the past do and for a pseudo remix mm-hmm. that in all honesty, it's not, you know, really good because of a, because of Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Say what you will of the quality of the song. Yeah. This is a very good feat that he has accomplished. Well, not the and, song, uh, the verse. Uh, yeah, the, the, the verse, of the course. The song but, is but a good it, song, the mm-hmm. crocodile teeth. Of course, it's been a good song, but song just herself. what she added to it. Her bars name, wise her name her name that's the only thing she but added. The, the the value that uh, as, as you talk about what she's added mm-hmm. her name alone mm-hmm. has it's added cachet, yeah. untold values mm-hmm. at least it's told because we see some um some of the fruit that it's that be already mm-hmm. but it's almost immeasurable the value that she has added to this song mm-hmm and the reach and the further legs that she has given to this song and it's something to, to be commended yet again and it speaks towards the power of collaborations mm-hmm. i know some people might have some issues with we uh i, I think i already used the term like i beg for crumbs and them type of thing there but if you can do more through the little crumbs you use it and you make it into a big fat meal that can feed you and whole heap of people around you mm-hmm. and we've seen where this this is a prime example where where, where, where where that has happened as much as some people might make fun of popcorn and call him um tour guide for, to the stars <laughs> when the artist then come out and i him that we ever seen a picture with them as much as people might make fun of him the power of collaborations mm-hmm. is real. Yep. We agree. So we're in the bubble, right? We have this conversation. We we agree. <laughs> we're in our we are in our little space. And we agree, we agree that there's this big world out there mm-hmm. that we'd like to see and put and plant our flags in further, right? Of course. We agreed on that, didn't we, fans? Yeah. We oh, spoke oh, and we agreed. Are. So when when you see the artists yes. them making them little moves, yeah. To do them thing yeah, and it actually work it is to be commended popcorn the two collab with drake them never did achieve this you see me so we can look at that and also see say yo it also takes the right collab as well at the right time the right timing so at minago still fault popcorn for, for being tour guide to the stars it's all about just finding that right collab that 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 just try lightning a bottle at that right time and it happened with skilly bang big up to skilly bang and the whole team congrats to skilly the original crocodile teeth song is excellent hit song and um i guess you know i have my my whole little 
hung up on Mickey's verse, but it wasn't. It's, it, I think it's subpar, but it's obviously not the worst. But it's subpar. Um, and but to reach Billboard 100 is an incredible feat. Mm-hmm. You're that's a that's a you call it no notch in your resume, a, a star on your collar. You know, a stripe on your epaulet. So you know, it's 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 great things happening for you, and I hope that you can capitalize on it further. So again, congratulations. Again, further big up to him, yeah. Alkaline. There's a little underlying battle going on with the two of them so far. I don't know if you, if you <laughs> know see a battle for the headlines. Yeah. For the past two weeks, <laughs> been happening, mm-hmm. and top charts, streaming. You know what I mean? <laughs> Crocodile teeth, yeah. top prize. Mm-hmm. And I just think it's good that we have two young artists that we can speak about being on Billboard mm-hmm. uh, 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 and doing the, the, making the several charts that they've been making, the emerging um, artist charts, and the two of them they one. And just doing, uh, 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 doing certain things and making certain moves that will help them and help dance all mm-hmm. further plant them flag in the international market so commendations to the two of them definitely all right moving on guys so the scandal surrounding dr dayton campbell general secretary for the people's national party has intensified since the release of statements from three females alleging that they had sexual relations with the politician when they were minors According to the Gleaner, the statements are a part of the defense filed by PNP activist Karen Cross at the Supreme Court on May 13th in response to a defamation lawsuit against her and two bloggers, Natalie Stack and Michelle Stern, filed by Campbell in March. In the first statement, dated March 1st, a female who is now 18 alleges that she started having sexual relations with Dr. Campbell when she was 14 years old. The accuser further alleges that she and other girls would drive around with the popular politician when he visited Brownstone in St. Anne. Campbell and his attorney at law, Georgia Gibson Henling, in the aftermath had denied the allegations and dismissed reports of Campbell being involved in any criminal offense or immoral conduct. However, since the release of the statements, an emerging coalition of concerned women, men, gender, and civil society organizations is urgently calling for Dr. Dayton Campbell to step aside while investigations into allegations that he had improper relations with three minors are conducted now what do we make of this guys well we can't talk about it uh, <laughs> well i think andrew be please is it, safe? <laughs> is it safe is it safe is it safe no um well this is obviously a serious issue definitely a serious matter mm-hmm. um you know the allegations against mr well dr um campbell is is grave <laughs> for in a matter of speaking and you know if 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 an investigation has been done but what's strange to me it's it seem as if because this this isn't the first time because from the year start like early in the year mm-hmm. um i remember around february march march um these allegations came up and it was a whole thing and you know he was saying produce the names produce the females or be quiet and you know then it, it kind of quiet down, like, quiet down mm-hmm. and then he asked for an apology it was one whole issue and i and i remember i vaguely remember the i was trying to look up the article before i came on air but i remember um the person he was accusing which is i think his cross her name is right she said that uh, t- t- he's asking for her to apologize and you know mm-hmm. and i guess even one issue or, or file a suit of defamation against um miss karen for this these spurious allegations against him but what i will say is it's an ongoing investigation the charges are are serious and needs to be taken seriously it's mm-hmm. a it's a crime against our kids or it's an, a serious allegation against violence and, and a crime against our children or nation's children and if he in fact is using his position to to cause harm it needs to be looked into further mm-hmm. now i've always said though to step aside i've never really understood that i think that people the investigation needs to happen mm-hmm whatever because even with george Wright and whatever i feel like the allegations that it needs to happen 
the investigation needs to happen and whatever the outcome of the investigation then that's when you'd ask the person to step aside or you know or issue an apology or and, and allow them to continue the job whether again based off the investigate the results of the investigation mm-hmm. um but with that being said I, I, I mean politics is such a horrible thing you don't really know the motivation of it is like why these things like it seem as if it's an orchestrated attack against mr gamble it feel like because mm-hmm. it as i said it is not this is not the first time we're hearing about it and it died down and it come up back so you have to wonder if politics is involved mm-hmm. you know the political motivation of it like why they want him see them want him position in the party so you know with politics it's such a nasty grimy thing and you have to say is it is it a, is it is it to to smear his name or is it to get justice for the young lady and right. i think that young women who who are who are making these allegations and i think that's the question that we need to ask because sex crime shouldn't be political mm-hmm if you understand what I mean, you know, and from the basis of it and from reading, it feels as if it's a, a politically motivated um, attack on Dr. Campbell. But again, I can't really say anything. I don't really like to talk about these things, especially when kids are involved. I think mm-hmm. they're, you know, it, it's it's serious, but I just hope that justice do come come up and I hope that, they you do know, the proper investigation. The proper investigation, because whether if it's true or not true, he might need to go to prison or somebody needs to pay him like a big sum of money and issue a serious apology mm-hmm. so i'll leave it at that i think it's sad that when these allegations are levied um at this individual that we have for a priest say yo it probably showed it out of muck and grime of politics mm-hmm. we have a question say yo a politics yeah, like, we so can't sad. just read it on the face of what it is or could not be is you have a question oh this element yeah. to it and everything so mm-hmm. that kind of sad um if the allegations are true of course he should hold no place within the pnp nor within the political realms no, of in society the country, <laughs> nor hold no prominent position within society yeah. ever again mm-hmm. but, um to 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 respond to you you questioning of um, why he should step aside we have the conversation before say because we're living in the pc era so we can't have this stain surrounding the party right now and again that's where politics come in mm-hmm. we can't have this stain on the party right now um but them thing are going these things are being levied at your these allegations and accusations are being levied at any right now so you are a part of this party so by extension the party are going to get involved and we can't have that stench mm-hmm. that you are carry on you on the party right now so i just saw the pc times going on now i i just hope that um investigations are able to be carried out without interference mm-hmm. and you know justice will be done hmm. so i can say right now mm-hmm. That's it for Quick Fix, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment down below. Share your thoughts with us and let us know. On well, this is the last week, we'll be talking about alkaline or skilling for quite some you time. Hope. You we, hope. We hope. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not singing the name of Ray Maybe. Who knows? They've been battling for the, the, the public um, headlines. Well, if so. they continue to do. Where Work. things are going to happen. Mm. You see me? So I would like to think that the fan base would be glad. You know? Yeah. Big up the carcass. <laughs>